Hello everybody, my name is Tasman and welcome back to another Inside Wild Adventure. The trip continues but it looks like a bit of a, a camping day today but I'll go have a quick another look for a deer tomorrow morning. Not today because today is nasty. Yeah, so tomorrow we'll head around to Port Pegasus where we'll uh, do some exploring and maybe some fishing and hunting. It's not the open hunting area anymore so I have to walk around, walk through it to get to the open hunting area but that should be alright if I, if I really want to. Oh hell nah! So, yeah, just chilling out here, gotta cook up some fish that I caught yesterday on the last episode. But it's still horrible weather so I'm not going out there, but in the morning it might be okay. So, I'll head over to one of the next bays to look for a deer. Fuck one of day, whatever day it is. I'm just gonna go over to the other side of the bay to have a bit of a hunt. It's much colder today and the wind's swinging around a bit more sort of southeasterly. Damn! Quite a lot of hail. But so pretty. Nice. Right, just gonna scoot across to that beach and then walk across to the next beach. Let's move a cave. Oh yeah. Somebody's made a bit of a camp in this cave. Alrighty. Entity wishes. <laughs> well he just gave me, a, gave me a massive fright. I just creeping along the bushes and then he just jumped off in front of me. Just gonna sit and wait here for maybe half an hour. Something might pop up. But nothing, nothing going on on the side of the beach. So I'm just gonna stalk back to the boat. Looks kind of rough out there. Didn't see nothing this morning, so it's now one o'clock. Just gonna pack up tent, pack up camp slowly. And uh, the weather forecast from a few days ago said that the wind was gonna drop off later. So. Hopefully it does, it's sort of like 20 knots at the moment to be on the nose. Right, all packed up, it's 3 o'clock. Um, might be a bit of a bumpy ride unfortunately because it hasn't eased back as much as I was hoping. But, oh, we'll just take it slowly. Um, got 5 hours before it gets dark so hopefully we'll get there by then. Unfortunately the tide's a bit low to use the handy harbour. Let's go. Made it here just inside Port Pegasus and that was nasty. Truly, truly disgusting weather. <laughs> and now I'm wet and cold so I'm just going to set the tent and get inside it. <laughs> but I'm feeling a lot better now that I've got a dry set of clothes on but it got pretty gnarly out there. I got pretty, pretty wet and the boat took quite a lot of water over the side but got to this nice little harbour thingy. <clears throat> 
and set the tent up just in those bushes. Now that we're in Port Vickers this we can uh, just like, I don't know, boat around and explore a bit, do a fishing and stuff. I'm just gonna camp here for a bit. Sorry bro. Keeps chasing me whenever I get try to get on the ground. <clears throat> so I'm in this this handy tree. But he's very very aggressive and I don't don't like it. Sorry for intruding in your space, but please stop chasing me. Don't bite my tent either. So uh, yeah, not really too wish it, sure what to do. It's interesting that it's got a tag, but I'd prefer it if he wasn't chasing me. <laughs> now he's chased me out on the beach. And I am in a tree on the beach. Can see lions jump. He really doesn't want me to be here. Those teeth look quite big. Be awkward if they could jump. Oh, he finally left. Uh, and so away. So hopefully that's the last I've seen of him. <laughs> He's back. Maybe I can play cat and mouse behind this boat. Dinner and a cocoa. That's a beautiful morning. Just got my clothes drying on the tree. Yeah, so a bit of breakfast, I think, and we'll pack up and um, go explore the sand. My jumper in particular got quite wet from that halfway down, downwards. Alrighty, the tide was going out pretty fast, so I had to hustle to get the boat in the water. But yeah, onwards. Nice. Well, it's so nice and sheltered in here. There's, not, there's no spell. <laughs> Unheard of. I get in the water in a slow tide, it looks pretty nice. shortage of muscles. This is just a shame I don't like them. <laughs> oh lovely. Alright, I'm just gonna write my name in the hot book, the South Pegasus hut, um Hunter's hut. Um, and see if anybody's home. Just got the boat parked up. The murky. Pretty cool. Other than the murky, I'm not really seeing too much other reason to get in the water. The water's really warm, but I'm not really warm. It's quite cold today. I finally spotted a pile from the surface, so I guess I've got no excuses now, so I will get suited up in the water. Yeah, here we go. Much nicer. That was quite cold before. To all these tiny fishes. Hopefully a bit of toothpaste will stop it fogging up. Yeah, wet wet suits are disgusting to put on. I also didn't do too badly, got four power and two murky. Didn't see any crayfish, but I think it's probably a bit shallow and a bit 
uh, I don't know, not quite the right spot for them. The mask kept filling up with water and I was like, why? And then I found, suddenly found this hole in it. <laughs> and so I just stuck a bit of tape over it. it seemed to help, help a bit anyway. Time for a bit of lunch. Cheers. Little penguin. He's chasing those tiny little fish. Alrighty, heading into Cook Arm. Pretty shallow. Water's a bit shallow, but at least the wind's going the right direction. Very cool spot. Not seeing a whole lot of places to put the tent though. Funny little beds. Should we call them plovers? Look a bit like dinosaurs with that bear trap. You can walk around me, but don't walk towards me, please. Paddled in here, there's a little waterfall. Isn't that nice? Realize you know, sea lions are so territorial. These ones really don't want me to be here. Which is interesting. It's a nice shot. <laughs> Do we have a thumb now? She really doesn't want me to be here. Anywhere near in the area actually. I've tried a few spots and she's kept coming back. Alrighty. How nice is that? See you later hanging out with my boat. getting dark otherwise I'd probably move so I don't disturb them anymore. I don't know, probably got half an hour of light left so he's as good as anywhere I think I guess. It's very interesting how they've got tags on their flippers. Ah! I'm glad these ones are a lot less uh, aggressive than the last one. <laughs> the, the one last night was really, really into, into it. <laughs> the carrier that was so good the other day, I thought I'd do another one. It's pretty full. What morning of day eight? Some dude yesterday in a little boat said that it was gonna, the weather was gonna pack in on Saturday. So I was, I was thinking, I was considering walking up that hill, but I think I'd prefer to get to Patterson before the weather packed in again for another serious front. So uh, I think I'll head out of Cook Arm, head to the next spot in Port Pegasus. That bush looks quite small anyway, um, and we can only get in and out when it's high tide. Here we are. Like somebody's after a feed. But nobody this hat. So I just stole some water. Oh, it's pretty windy actually. It's getting kind of, kind of wet out there. <laughs> so I'm just on the beach for a bit of a break. An old midden with pretty big shells actually. On the side of the hill for some reason. Yeah, so I just dropped my phone at about 27 mm of water for about 5 seconds. And it's supposed to be a waterproof phone, but I think the back of it is cracked, so it might not be so waterproof anymore. I might have dodged a bullet with that one. The phone seems to be okay, for the moment anyway. But, um, I don't know, it's kind of windy. I'll peek around the corner and see if I go further. It's an interesting thing of me. Let's go for an explore. Very interesting. More interesting stuff. Looks like a winch or something. I 
think this will do nicely. Just off the beach. Not ideal, but it's the best I can think of. Right, camp's all set up. Not a lot of space, but just enough for the tent. Uh, and there's a tramway behind me, uh, which goes up the hill. And if I go up far enough and then duck off it, there's an uh, open hunting area. So about 4 k's in. Um, so we'll just walk along there and see how far we get. It'd be cool to see a deer at least. Um, and it'd be even cooler to get one. <laughs> yeah, if I see a deer, I'll shoot it. Uh, I won't muck around too much with photoing it this time. <laughs> Right now, if I hit a few hundred meters through here, I should get to the open hunting area pretty pretty soon. Hunt for a couple hours and head back down. Beautiful little deer. Oh well, that paid off. <laughs> well, it was not expecting at all. There was bugger all sign actually, so I was just stalking through the bush with the gun ready and um, it just popped out of the bushes and I shot it maybe 30 meters um, so yeah very 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 pleased with that <laughs> beautiful little deer it's gonna be great great eating yeah even though the bullet went through the four quarter it's copper bullets so no lead um, so I'll just cut around the bruise bits um, so yeah I'll take it out half yeah it's now four o'clock so I've got maybe four hours to get back down to the boat um, it's probably four or five k's very happy. <laughs> Read the guts a little bit. Let's go. Made it back to camp. Washed my bloody clothes and got a fresh suit on. So yeah, I think about cooking up these powers and maybe the heart and the tent lines. Hey, in the tree nicely to cool down. And what's really nice about this campsite is there's no uh, territorial sea lions trying to get me to move. Time for a cocoa. That was actually a really good combo for whatever reason. It was really nice. But yeah, super cool part, second part of the trip. It was nice and sheltered in Pegasus. It was a little bit choppy before, but not too bad. Um, and the weather's been fantastic. It's only rained a little bit um, and nothing today. And stoked to have gotten a deer. I mean, uh, last episode I had a couple of missed opportunities. Um, but yeah, very cool. I'm very uh, keen to eat some next episode. The heart was good today. But yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this episode, please like the video and subscribe if you feel like it. And I will see you next time in Patterson Inlet for the last leg of the circumnavigation.